Welcome to Math Made Easy with Frida. Today we're going to solve for x with two absolute values. This doesn't look as easy as, as it does over here. So let's get into it. When you have two absolute values, there are four possible solutions to this problem. The possible solutions are we have a positive and negative. And here we have a positive and negative. And the combinations are the first possible solution would be x plus 3 positive plus 2x minus 1 positive is equal to 6. So let's just solve it, which will give me x plus 3 plus 2x minus 1. That's a that's positive 2x minus 1 and positive should be equal to 6. When we solve this, we get x plus 2x plus 2 is equal to 6 so 3x is equal to 4 and we get x is equal to 4 over 3 that's one possible answer and we have to make sure that this value actually works out when we plug it in so let's test it instead of x let's put in 4 over 3 plus 3 plus absolute value of 2 times 4 over 3 minus 1 should give me 6 all right that gives me four and one third plus gives me two uh two whole and two third minus one the absolute value and that gives me four and one third plus one and two third is that equal to six four plus one is five one third and two third gives me one yes so this satisfies problem and four over three is a possible solution this is just one of them let's move on to the second one the second possible solution is let's say x plus 3 was positive and 2 my x minus 1 is negative all right so is equal to 6 so let's start put it in positive x plus 3 plus negative 2x minus 1 should be equal to 6. Let's solve this. We get x plus 3. Uh, this will give me negative 2x and positive 1. All right. So we get negative 2x plus 1 is equal to 6. And this will give me negative x. Grouping the x's plus 4 is equal to 6. Subtract 4 on both sides. We get negative x is equal to Two, so basically x is equal to negative 2 let's plug this value in and see if it works x is equal to negative 2 so we have negative 2 plus 3 plus 2 into negative 2 minus 1 should be equal to 6 so negative 2 plus 3 is 1 plus 2 into negative 2 is negative 4 minus 1 is a negative 5 should be equal to 6 absolute value of 1 is 1 of negative 5 is 5 it is equal to 6 yes so this is one of your solutions let's see the third possible solution the third possible solution is when we take let's make x plus 3 negative and 2x minus 1 make it positive should be equal to 6 so let's go back first step was positive and positive second positive and negative and now we're trying negative and positive so negative into x x plus 3 will give me negative x minus 3 plus 2x minus 1 is equal to 6 this gives me x minus 4 is equal to 6 so x is equal to 10 okay so let's plug in x is equal to 10 into the equation so 10 plus 3 plus 2 into 10 minus 1 should give me 6 all right 10 plus 3 is 13 plus 20 minus 1 is 19 will this give me 6 no 
so this not, does not satisfy the equation so x is equal to n is not one of your answers let's move on to the last possible answer which would be x plus 3 is negative plus 2x minus 1 is negative is equal to 6 so let's do this negative x negative 3 minus 2x plus 1 is equal to 6 so this gives me negative 3x minus 2 is equal to 6 so negative 3x will be equal to minus 2 becomes plus 2 8 and x will be equal to negative 8 over 3 let's plug this in and see if it works negative 8 over 3 plus 3 plus 2 into negative 8 over 3 minus 1 should give me 6 2 and 2 third plus 3 plus gives me negative 5 and 1 third minus 1 is that equal to 6 let's solve this we get negative 2 third plus 3 gives me 1 third plus this give me negative 6 and 1 third is that equal to 6 yeah just looking at this this number gives me 6 this is not one of the solutions so the only solutions to this problem were x is equal to 4 over 3 when both values are positive and x is equal to negative 2 when one was positive and one was negative these are the only solutions to the problem so thank you for watching i hope this helped you out working with absolute values bye and have a nice day